It depends on where you practice, but uh, in the academic setting, most of them would have the abil availability of the PET scans, the uh, MRIs. However, some of these uh, oncologists who practice in the smaller towns would have the availability of the CAT scans and the bone scans. So I don't think it has replaced totally. There are several uh, uh, corporations that are building PET centers. However, uh, at this point, no. In the future, probably uh, there will be a development of more imaging, including PET scan, but they will be using different tracers which are more accurate for locating certain specific types of metastasis. Absolutely there is, however right now it's not available and cost can be an issue. Just to give you a clear example is that the uh, fluciclobin scan or the axiomin scan are only indicated in patients with rising PSA. They are not indicated for patients with metastasis. It might have value, but there are other scans, including which are stud being studied in clinical trial, including the PET PSMA, uh, prostatic surface membrane antigen uh, studies that uh, might uh, also change the paradigm on how we treat certain patients with metastatic prostate cancer. So I think uh, it's an exciting time. Many people will be coming with their own uh, molecule to study that will uh, detect those metastatic disease.